I stood looking at her, sledgehammer in hand. I don't know where I got a sledgehammer from. <laughs> I don't uh, own one. <sighs> Fucking hell. <sighs> it was uh, so noisy out there. The people were running around, shouting. To be honest, though, I, I couldn't um, couldn't hear anything. I was I was so lost in my own uh, thoughts, staring at her ugly face. I was out there a minute ago, um, but well, actually, I I don't know when exactly I I came into that room with her. It's not very feminist of me, but I couldn't help thinking that she looked like a sheep in shock. Uh, and also like a cartoon Roman man, you know, the uh, <laughs> the bulging eyes and the uh, and, uh, lumpy nose really sent that on its way. <sighs> so what, what, what was she looking at? Not at me, uh, not at anyone or, or anything really. Um, just sort of uh, off that way <laughs> into the, the middle distance. On some days, it's a sort of contemplative look. Uh, on other days, maybe excitement. On other days, violence, depending on your mood. A sort of, is she kissing him? Is she strangling him? Sort of thing. Uh, when was she made? A hundred years ago? 200, 300. Liberté, égalité, fraternité. What was she meant to be looking at? You know, I want her to be looking at me. This is, this is what you're supposed to represent. I'm free. Yeah, I'm, I'm free. But uh, I'm not, am I? I'm... Uh, I'm broke all the time. I'm, I'm caught every month between buying genuinely nourishing food and tampons. How can I get about if I can't put uh, diesel in the car? But, of course, she uh, doesn't know what diesel is or, or car. <laughs> well, I've got one. And I use it to uh, visit home once a month or, or uh, actually to come back from the shops or, or, you know, actually just because I want one. <sighs> I work, I pay, I help people. I should be able to own things that I want be just because I want them, not because it's a necessity. Is reading a necessity? Is... Um, Going out for a, a beer with my friends, a necessity is um, buying a, a piece of clothing, maybe once every couple of months, a necessity. No. Uh, um, I have two jobs, actually, um, and I'm sick, I'm sick of them. <laughs> I work evenings. I work weekends, I work holidays, I work when no one else is working and still they want to charge me instead of the people who actually have money. I mean, I don't care how you go about it, but just stop fucking me about. Huh? Living like this, it's, it's exhausting. Why can't I be part of society without being charged for it you know and i'm still better off than some yeah i've got i've got a room i've got a job i've got money coming in i've got enough to get by just and there are some people there were some people there wearing this who actually have people to look after. They have, um, um, they, they have uh, parents, siblings, children, dependents. 
Um, you know that moms actually do go without food so their children can eat. You know that, right? That there are parents who are actually doing that right now. It's, it's happening. And there you are, Marianne, towering above the city, above the, the world, staring off into the middle distance, a symbol of our fraternité. Well, I think it's a little bit fucking hypocritical. I mean, were you ever real? Who were you? Did you ever experience what it's like to be human? To have intelligence and self-doubt at the same time? To have boiling rage, bludgeoning you on the inside and, and uh, bursting out into uh, angry, angry tears because you don't want to cry, but sometimes you can't help it. People seem to listen to you when you're wailing. People take notice. They take photos of you and they caption you in the paper. And they, uh, then they wrap up their lunch with your face in a few days' time. I mean, do you know how that feels? Marianne, I'm talking to you. Are you even listening? I mean, what are you looking at? You're not looking at me. Look at me. Hey, are you listening to me? Hey. So I, I took my sledgehammer, I swung it behind me and I smashed a big fucking hole in her face. The, the thrill of smashing a 300-year-old statue. <laughs> Tiny shockwaves. Adrenaline. The, uh, the body heat. <sighs> From the outside, it looked solid, like a rock. But it was hollow. Can you believe that? <sighs> it was hollow. And she looked strong and perfect and important. But she was hollow, she was nothing. Her integrity was, was fragile from the moment she was created. If you can't see what it is, how can you trust it? Huh? If it's old, why is it important? If it's gone, does anybody care? 